about how to create a free Azure account for a student. For that, let's go to Google and type Azure student account. Then you will get this page. And here you do have option uh, for sign in. Select that. Then I already use these two emails, so let's forget this one and use another email. So I will use rasbata at live.com. Then hit next. Let's use password. And then click on not now. Yes. Then here uh, you can see that start building the future with uh, Azure for a student. So you can click on activate now. Uh, then let's see what we will get. Yes, so the basically we need to verify our information. And right now I'm uh, in Canada and I'm using uh, my phone. Uh, the personal phone number I personally don't prefer to share my personal phone number here so I will skip this part uh, in your case you need to provide your phone number and let's go here uh, so for now let's use my uh, the previous phone number which I don't use anymore uh, Uh, then you we can use text me uh, maybe I need to go and grab my phone uh, I think I got message inside my phone just give me a sec let me grab my phone uh, all right all right I got my phone here and uh, let me type my verification code. Oh, sorry, three nine four six. All right. Uh, all right. So, uh, beside our phone number, we need to provide our university email or password. And um, in my case, like uh, I can see that I need to provide university email address and then I need to type uh, retype my university address so I have already used my university email but I, I prefer to retry it again so let's do that uh, all right let's see what Azure will display here um yes the verification email has been sent to the school you provided please follow the instructions so let's go to the the university email uh let's wait let's uh go to my university email and here So I didn't receive any email here because my Azure portal is already activated but I personally prefer to check the spam folder so I didn't uh, receive anything but in your case um, you need to verify your uh, university email address and after that uh, click on that button then let's see what will happen. Um, this page is loading all right uh, not sure what is happening here but after this step you will receive email inside your uh, university email and from there you can start so I will sign out from here and I will use uh, my university email to do the regular login from Azure portal itself so for that I prefer to use this one and and 
as I said I already used this email hope we will get Azure portal here we go beautiful so let's go to the home this is the Azure portal dashboard in my case I have already created um, some resources so I will talk about these resources in my next video thank you